Hey train friends, welcome back to another train layout slash train store walkthrough video. Today we are at the Carnegie Science Center here in Pittsburgh, PA. And it's right next to Heinz Field right here where the Pittsburgh Steelers play. And inside there, there is a huge, amazing train layout that is 102 years old with everything hand built. It's O gauge and we're gonna go check it out right now, let's go. If you would like to have your train store or personal layout featured on this channel, please send me an email. A disabled World War I veteran, Charles Bodish, started a huge Christmas display in his home on the second floor. In 1919, Christmas Eve, he opened it to the public, and each year, people lined the streets to come see it. It grew so large that in 1954, it was moved to a permanent home in the Buell Planetarium. Many visitors would come to see the display at the Buell every year. I remember going there in the 1980s when I was a kid with my dad, and it was a memory that will last a lifetime. I remember walking down those stairs and just in awe of the layout. In 1992, the miniature railroad and village was revealed at the new Carnegie Science Center, its new home, and it grew 60% in size. It's 83 feet long and 30 feet wide. It is the reason why I love trains and this hobby so much, and it was a huge inspiration when I built my layout, as you can see here. All right, here it is, the miniature railroad and village. And we're gonna go in there, we're gonna check it out. So as you can see, this is a, a huge O-gauge layout. And there's a lot going on here. Nice coal mine with a winter scene. Very detailed, everything is scratch built on this layout. So moving along here, you can just see it turns from winter into fall scenery. And there's things like this. There's 101 animations on this layout. And this is one of them, the swinging tire tree. That's amazing. And right now it's, the lights are dimming down and it's becoming nighttime on the layout. So back there is Gobbler's Knob. You can see the animation on the door where Punxsutawney Phil comes out and then the flashing light for the flash photography. It's really neat. Oh, there he comes. He's coming out now. Oh my God. So much detail here. So here we have poop and coal ovens. You can see the red hot glow coming from inside the ovens, loading up the coal cars. And then down below here you have like the the workers' village. You can see there's animations down here as well. The lady washing her, her laundry right there. Just the, the level of detail on this layout is amazing. 
truly, truly amazing. This is the Sharon Furnace, and this is going to be probably the, one of the most detailed furnace scenes you'll ever see, especially in Ogage. You can see over here there's, there's a moving Larry car. And it doesn't look like it's operational, but this ore bridge at one time uh, did move back and forth. Uh, down below here is another Larry car that's moving. It's really neat. Check out all the detail on this over here. And then if you look back there, you can see the slag cars coming out of the steel mill. And then if we zoom in closer, you can see just how much detail is on the inside there. You can see the, the glowing hot furnace. The skip cars, I have seen them move in the past, so they are functional, but I guess they're turned off right now as well. And then if you move over to the right here, you can see that there's cars with the glowing ingots and the rolling mill back there. Let's go over and get a closer look. I just love all the staging here and with all these coal cars and limestone, it's really neat. This building here with the the glowing ingot cars is really, really awesome. It's tough to get a close look at all this stuff because this layout is just so big. And if you look behind the steel mill there, there's actually real water on this layout. It's amazing. There's an actual real river that runs through this layout and there's moving boats and things and it's, it's incredible. You can see the, the huge turntable over here. amazing. There's one of the, uh, the river boats now moving up the river. See the boat moving? It's awesome. <laughs> There's another, another look here. We'll, we'll check out the steel mill when the, with the lights off. It's, uh, everything's automated here. When the lights dim, it turns to night and all the lights come on in the buildings. It's really cool. out this turntable and roundhouse over here to our, to our right. You can see they're working on a on an engine in there, the welder. And that is a huge roundhouse and turntable. Here's another look from the side of the roundhouse. We'll just kind of take a panning shot here. There's a 
nice look across the layout here, going toward the back. You can just see just how much detail is there is in like the, the mountains with all the trees and the rock faces. This cool tipple. It's really neat. Here's a very interesting scene with the horses and the, the miners there. It's like a quarry scene. What they're doing is they're making bricks. You can see there's ovens there and you can see the stacks of bricks there at the bottom. see just the, the animations over here you can see the, the guy right there he's swinging the pick and the horse there's another guy back there moving a few of them actually there's another guy in the back with a shovel There's more than 100 animations. Here's another neat scene with the swinging tire on the tree. You see the, the lady in the back there? There's a, oh, there's a guy in the back. He's like hitting the the clothing on the on the clothing line. There goes the river boat heading back down the river. If you look over there, there's a there's like a barge slip dropping barges into the river. So much detail, it's just you can just look and look and look forever here. Over here on the right is a really cool scene. This is the the farm. And it's becoming full daylight. You can see there's cows up on the hill there. Nice farmhouse. Got some some dogs there. Big, huge open field over here. Really cold. And then, if you look in the back there, there's like a nice barn, a silo. You can see the river ends back there. There's a little ending to the river there. 
and then moving the walls over here. This is the Rachel Carson home. It's uh, straight back there if you look. Right there. And then moving down here. a really nice house and you can see there's uh, some figures dancing on the porch. We move over to the right. You can see there's an animated playground over here. It's really neat. You can see the swings are moving. There's another one moving back there in the back. In the back. Here's the general store. Got the, the horse's tail wagon there. Look at all the detail inside of that store. Oh my gosh. Can you see that, Lily? I never really noticed how much detail is in there, inside of that building. That's crazy. Check out the, the blacksmith over here. You can see they're, they're swinging the iron there. Probably making some horseshoes. <laughs> So if we stand back here, you can see this is a really nice view of the layout. Here's a nice depot on the other side of town. Check out all the figures there. That's a busy train station. <laughs> All the detail that it just looks like here too. So over on this back right hand corner of the layout is Forbes Field. And this is a really awesome scene. Tons of detail. We'll look over here in a minute. Just waiting for the sun to come up here. And as we do see the sun come up, you'll see an amazing playground scene right over here. see how much detail is in this stadium. There's even a, a batter at plate there with his bat swinging. We'll see if we can zoom in on it. Look at all the fans in the, in the stands. Must be a World Series game. <laughs> 
And then if you look past the stadium here, there's all this detail up on the, the hill back there. It's tough to see from here, but there's a trolley line and you come into the, to the town here. Before we check out the town, you can see the entrance to Forbes Field here. You can see all the people waiting to get in. All the cars in the parking lot. Here comes a trolley. <laughs> and then just look at how neat this is. Just all of these crazy details in these buildings. You got this good golf gasoline station right here. And then it wouldn't be Pittsburgh without a Permani Brothers. And then this right here, I believe is is this it? And this is it. This is Mr. Rogers' house. Here he is on the swing. Oh, he's inside the house. Is he, is he in the house? Yeah, he's on the swing. He's sitting on the chair by the house. I'll probably do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't get any closer than this. You can see, looking back in the town, there's a parade going on. Coming down Main Street, horses and flags. People walk in, you got the Isleys, ice cream right there. Theater. On the corner here, you have the Crawford Grill. It's a famous jazz club that was on the Hill District of Pittsburgh. Let's get a better look at the Crawford Grill. Really. That's so cool. And the door opens. Oh, listen, it plays music. <laughs> That's awesome. In the back of the town here is the original Kaufman's department store that was in Pittsburgh. See all the uh, the windows there with all the displays. There's the church. Got a nice roadside diner down here. There's the incline coming down the hill up there on the mountain. And the other car going up. That's awesome. And then down below, we got the riverboat passing by.
so neat. There's the Westinghouse Research Laboratories. There's a neat bridge that's under construction up here. Check that out. There's a road that leads up to it from over here on the right. And coming down, it comes into this um, the town here. There's the stained glass building. And then over here on the right, we come into Rogers Field. And there's some moving animations here. You can see the, the flags move right there. There's a guy over here with some wings strapped on, trying to see if he can take flight. And then got a moving hot air balloon right here. All the really neat scenes that they set up with the planes and the mechanics working over there. One plane about to take off and fly over the river there. Got a, a blimp back there that they're working on. <laughs> Here's a look at the back of the, the furnace here. You can see the train passing by the river. And here is Falling Water, the famous Frank Lloyd Wright house and it is really realistic and there's even a real running water stream past it it is handmade you can see all those pieces of stone or, or actual pieces of stone there So we're coming back into the fall here and we're in the quarry scene. And these guys are hard at work. Check out all the moving figures, Lily. You can see the guys swinging their, their axes and their picks. Train zooming by. You can see the mining limestone here. It's really neat. There's a 
another guy over here on the right. Just amazing all the detail in that. And how hard it must be to get all those motors to, to make all those animations work and work for a long time. All right, so over here we come into a small town. Looks like we got a, a cool hobo scene right here. Tons and tons of details here. Check out the crops they're growing back there by the river. If you look up the, the mountain here, you can see there's actually a running stream that comes down off the mountain up there underneath that bridge. Two bridges. Running water coming down there, it's really neat. Another uh, hot air balloon moving right there. There's like a water mill hiding back there behind the, the mountain there. So I just noticed this is the, the circus is coming to town here. They're coming down the, the dirt path and they're on their way to this. This really awesome amusement park. And we're gonna check it out here in just a second. Here goes uh, the roller coaster. You can see this roller coaster is Fully functional. There it goes. Nice and slow and realistic. That is so neat. <laughs> All right, here comes the the circus. We've got the duck shoot. And the Wheel of Chance there, that's awesome. We got the, the cage with the trainer here. <laughs> got a, oh, Lily, look, there's a seal balancing a ball on his nose. <laughs> Thanks, Lily. <laughs> Got the upgraded carnival ride, the little HO scale train that runs around with the passengers. You see, there's a, another real water scene there with moving water and a fountain. Got Noah's Ark there up on the hill. We'll get a shot of that when we go around the bend here. A 
merry-go-round. And the Ferris wheel. Stand back and take it all in here. Such an amazing layout. Just so inspiring, everything about it. Got the uh, roundabout there. <laughs> oh, the whip, look, here's the whip. Check out the whip. That's awesome. <laughs> See little boats. You see the boats in the in the water floating. <laughs> Do you see the the fun house back there? And there's there's Noah's Ark up on the hill, tipping back and forth. <laughs> you can see there was another riverboat over there. We kind of missed it before. That's moving a house on the river. Yeah, that'd be uh, a lot to do. There's a, a really neat wooden bridge scene. You got the, the Thomas the Train flying over it. <laughs> it's, a, it's like a burned down house. This guy is running from some black bears. This is a really neat scene here. Got the, the guy in the outhouse there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tour of the Miniature Railroad and Village at the Carnegie Science Center. Sleout has a special place in my heart and brings back so many childhood memories. It was fun to share it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.